Okay, welcome to the next installment of Vlogmas. I'm just checking that I'm, like, in frame. I worked out how to do the little Apple Watch thing, and it's been... Yes, it was just so hot that I couldn't even be bothered to do anything or film anything. So I really need to do something today. I think I have enough from the previous days to kind of fill in, but my goodness... It was like 45. Today's not so bad. It's only 26 or 28, which is still hot, but it's like nothing. This is so not a flattering angle. <laughs> Bring that up there so you can't see my bubble chin. This looks like it's been cut off instead. Anyway, I'm going to do some work today since it's supposed to be hotter again tomorrow. And I have no plans to do anything. This morning we did do um, some Christmas shopping. Again, oh my gosh, worst day ever to go on um, a Sunday. Don't do it. Just do it during the weekend or do click and collect. I've got to do a few click and collect orders still because I'm not doing that again. Um, and with two kids, it was like, oh my God, get us out of here. Yeah, I we don't have much planned. My daughter is playing with my vintage box and I'm like, mm, it's a little bit nerve wracking. I don't realize I completely stuffed up vlogmas this week. I was like thinking I did one video, then I have two days off, then do another video. That's not what I was doing at the start of it. And I can't believe I actually just didn't pick that up till now so i'm so many vlogs behind because i was posting content that was like three days old i'm like three four days old i'm like why is this happening i got it i got that yeah it's heavy it's heavy yeah it's oh, oh. <laughs> it's so and i'm only supposed to be doing one day filming one day not filming one day filming how did i end up giving myself two days in between but honestly, it's a mystery. We're on a mission to go find a missing Hot Wheels. Sis? Mom? I made it. You made it? I don't 
was too much for him to handle. Well, of course he couldn't handle me, cause he's a loser. Yeah. Yes. All right. Boom. <laughs> I wasn't his kind of a You're so clever, baby. Hi, 
yes, my on the verge of death plants. Most of them perked back up again after I gave them a good drink from my beautiful watering can. Um, and this is typically our morning routine. We go out, check the blueberries every couple of days. Then I turn off the Christmas lights, make sure the kids are dressed, fix up the cushions, you know, just spruce it up a bit. This particular day, I needed to clean the kitchen, honey. Sometimes I'm so good with it, like at the moment, I'm on top of it, right? My kitchen is pretty tidy. It could do a tiny bit of work, but it's pretty tidy. And then I um, just have to do dishes. But before then, like before this week, last week, I was horrific, okay? And it's this is just the way of life, isn't it? You're up, you're down, and in your busy season of life it's a mess and and that's fine it's like people actually live there you know it's not a display home and doesn't have to be that way all the time so and then on and then this week i'm in a completely different space altogether we're at home all day every day because it's so hot we don't have things to do we don't want to go anywhere and do anything so i'm just i'm able to clean up and spend more time one-on-one -on -one with the kids and not feel stressed out about trying to go and do stuff and then trying to spend time with them and trying to clean up you know it's been chill and I've been enjoying that I don't think I've wiped down the benches these days that day because I was not in the mood and then hubby and I just sat on the couch and watched a bit of hot fires together while the kids were asleep highly recommend this movie if you've never seen it definitely a weird one Let's go do a smoochy smooch bit more Christmas shopping. I honestly thought I was done. I'd like to get the kids just a few yo more things. Making a mess with that cold water. Oh my gosh, but it's so good. Just want to get the kids a few more things. I had planned on getting Avia some um, makeup brushes because she loves to run off with my makeup brushes and just like not return them ever she needs some more t-shirts so i don't know whether i'll put that in her christmas stocking or not because we're kind of in dire need of more shirts apparently most of the ones i bought were white and they're no longer white so yeah Double parking is an epidemic in my suburb, honestly. Um, yeah, Christmas shopping, just a little bit of stocking stuffers I need to buy for my man's. I have no idea what I'm gonna get him. I've got like a few wrappable presents, and I know he wants headphones, but I'm just waiting for earphones for like the gym and stuff. But I'm just waiting to see. Um, ones he wants because he doesn't want the same ones as last time some stockings it's so hard to buy for a man like i said to him last year or the year before i said to him just because for a few years we only done stockings i think like four years like once we had the kids but for the first two years he'd buy me just like chocolate and maybe like a bath bomb or something and I was like no we can up this game mate I don't like you can do this so I was like I felt bad giving him a guideline but also like now he does so good <laughs> don't beep at me there's no way to go people honking at me to do stupid stuff not in my new car babes not in my new car yes another incredible shopping vlog with me i think i remembered to take this one clip in david jones while i was looking for something um and then i just forget <laughs> i get so stressed out and just so busy that i forget that you know it'd be nice to actually see what i'm doing so this is just me walking to the toys did find some Lego 20% off and then I headed home. Alright, this is your sign not to go to the shops anymore. It's too crazy. Even on a Monday afternoon. Let's hope I can turn right. No right turn. Mm. <laughs> That's so annoying. This man's shirt is. Um, I'm not sure he's hard for 
anymore, so I'm not gonna say anything. Oh, it's not worth it. I keep telling myself, oh, I'll do it online, I'll do it online. She don't. Uh, I basically walked around the shop. You saw me go into David Jones, but like, oh gosh, I was there a while, like maybe 20 minutes or so, just wandering around aimlessly. Like, their Christmas bauble selection is supposed to be good, yet there's like three hanging up. What did you say it was? What's, what's so heavy? What's sitting there? Can we open it? Okay, we can have a look. This Got this gluten-free no added sugar Christmas pudding from David Jones. It's pretty dang good. Um, I was going to get the smaller one, but I dug through all the ones they had and I couldn't find it. I know Christmas pudding is not to everyone's taste, but baby, this is my bread and butter, okay? I wait for that. The poops that come out from that, mm. Gosh, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on with this <clears throat> or oh my voice. Anyway, it's like 8 o'clock at night. A little bit tired. I've got a kid-free evening and I'm going to sort out the Christmas presents. Wildly entertaining stuff, I know. Riveting, riveting. Um, we're going to sort that out because I need to know what I've got for each kiddo. I hope that... I don't want to buy any more stuff. I don't feel like they need anything else. Um, I think it's better just to go smaller when they're younger so that, you know, as the years go on, you're not expected to put out as many presents each year. And honestly, they're kids. Like, one or two new things excites them. So they have seen a few of this just because it's here in this room. And I'm gonna try and pack it up. Oh my god. Um, before they come home. I just. <laughs> that's disgusting. I just saw where my dog lies every single night. It's just like a brown stain. And like, not even just like a little bit. It's like. I'm not even gonna show you. It's horrific. <laughs> All right, here we are. This is going to be a while, so sit down, buckle up, get comfy, whatever. Um, let's start with the cousins that's over here. There's three boys, so let's get into that. All right, let's do the three boy cousins. They are two, one and a half, and four months old. The four month old is getting all of this. Um, that's just a baby Einstein spinner. Hopefully, that will keep him entertained. This I see at daycares all the time and I have gifted it to a few other people with babies before and it seems to be a hit so we keep going. This is a jumpsuit, no, a set um, from Country Road. Size 12 months, 12 to 18 months. The brother of that cousin is getting this, a jumper and a what a shooter what's it called what a gun um and a pair of pants i still have to buy it he's also getting a basketball hoop that's what we're gonna get here a set of spider-man bubbles because he's obsessed with spider-man men as he calls it so this is cousin number three the oldest he is getting a country road set i'm not even gonna open it it's just a cutie pie little cream top with a frog on it or something it's very cute it was very expensive for a shirt and pants so that's his main gift and then what's this i originally bought this play-doh set the cake one i think it was 20 and then i think this i have not given any prices have i good right oh well this was also 20 but this is the one that was on the list and this wasn't so I was going to take it back, I was going to take this one back, but since since this boy down here is getting a basketball hoop from us, I was like, no, nah, I'll just keep it. I think all of that, that's 40, and I think that was like 80, and I think it kind of all evens out. And he's getting a water blaster or soaker, and a set of bubbles as well, so they don't argue over it, because... They see each other all the time and I just don't want to start arguments. This half is um, my son's uh, gifts. 
and then the Barbie girl was gift. Okay, where are we gonna start? Um, we have my, like the parents' gifts. Little boy, little girl. Um, let's start with the parents. I can't show everything because Dante doesn't know what he's getting. But this was my gear. Well, I didn't buy it. He bought it for me. We went together. Normally, I would just be like, you know, I'd like want it a surprise. But for something like this, I was like, oh, no, like, let me just pick it out. Because I don't want you to buy the wrong thing and then have to take it back and exchange it and go through all of that around Christmas time. Okay, our last one, it was just a single, like, you make it in a cup. Single cup. Nutriple, I don't know what you call it. Good, but like the kids always wanted some smoothies as well. And so like I've been making two or three in the same machine. Yeah. It wasn't great. So we got this one. Be and also, my husband, bless him, he put really, really hot stuff in the Nutribullet cup and then sealed it with the blade and then just yeah you couldn't open it again after that so and trust me i tried like i used a knife i used everything didn't work so far in summer i haven't had any smoothies but the kids i didn't even think avia would remember smoothies because we haven't had them in like probably almost a year like since the start i'm very excited this is husband's gift I think he knows about this one. I don't think he knows about the other ones. Um, and also this. He does know because he saw me buy it, which was annoying because that was going to be a surprise. But I just got to get the headphones and then there was two other things I was going to get. For my son, I noticed he has um, quite a bit more than my daughter. Well, actually not that much more. So we have Christmas day outfit this is just a shirt and a pair of pants i'm sure if he's actually gonna wear the pants on christmas depends how hot it is and some shoes Whew. can't breathe that was dada's gift it's all some of it which is annoying anyway um we don't really do santa actually well, i don't say we don't really do it we don't ever do it um Although this year is the first year that I've noticed he's actually picked up on Santa. Like, people will ask him about it or he's learnt it just from, like, TV and, like, seeing Santa everywhere in the shop. So, I just say, oh, no, mummy bought the presents. But I don't say that Santa's not real just because I don't want to be that parent that ruins it for everyone else, especially because he goes to daycare. Anyways, long-winded, but... Here we are. I got him all these books. Let me just show you these. Oh, sugars, I dropped something. Look, this was kind of a pricey purchase when we went to the bookstore. It was not only super busy, super expensive. But these books are so hard to find. Hold on. So I have these OG I Spy books, right? Remember getting them in like the scholastic thing when you would like order books? Um, you know you get that brochure and then you'd order books well my mum ordered these for me and as you can see they didn't survive my children <laughs> so we bought him a bunch more they don't sell these ones anymore which is quite sad because they're my favourite I cannot breathe today some of it you can read I guess it's for the older kids but then down the bottom you've got like you find the pictures in here but i feel like it's not as um it's not as difficult as that one you see how it's like a lot more difficult anyway so we got him one in dinosaurs one in bugs bugs in the zoo all of these books came out to like 77 bucks might i say so, they'll keep better rhythm. 
Um, this one my husband really wanted. I don't really know. So like, I think this will be a bit more challenging for him, but I probably wouldn't have bought it if my husband wasn't there. And then this one, this is the Sea Creatures. This is like more the difficulty that I think I needed for him. I know he's going to be obsessed with that. We've also got him, ooh, we got one of these, they love bath bombs. So we got a Christmas one and just a regular one. Bubbles because it's, if you don't get bubbles in a stock for kids, honestly, it's like, they're like a dollar. Just buy it. <laughs> they're not going to get this until they go to their cousin's house, but they're also getting a water soaker. Got some M&M's because mum went all out. And uh, three Hot Wheels cars. I'm mad that I didn't get them when they were on the 75 cent special at Kmart. And then I went today? No, yesterday. Or the day before. I can't remember. Whenever I last went to Kmart. Cleared out. Absolutely cleared out. I got him this. I'm second guessing this. I don't have the receipt anymore. So... Um, I'm going to have to keep it. I can't even think of where the receipt might be. This, it just looks a little young for him. It's too up, but like when I'm looking at it, that's all it is. I don't want the little, 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 little Lego because it just ends up everywhere and then they never gets rebuilt and whatnot. It was like 30 something dollars. Welcome to my daughter's section. I'm realizing she probably didn't get as much as him. <laughs> That's fine. We are, I do want to get her, her Christmas day outfit. And I'm looking at getting her like a wooden beauty set because she loves to do her hair and she loves to use my makeup brushes on her face. She loves them because they're fluffy and she's obsessed with fluffy stuff. So, I just got to find that. And there was one more thing in my head that I wanted. The wooden set and books is what's left. And then I think I'll be, like, satisfied. She also got a water blaster. A frozen ball. Self-explanatory. Bubbles as well. Uh, this is supposed to be split between the two of them, so... Yeah, that's not necessarily all hers. This, just some m &Ms. We've got two bath bombs. I love their baths. Got this water sensory thing. One of the kids got into it. Even though it's a Christmas gift. And she'll have fun with that for about five stinking minutes. This cute pie little dress. Oh, shirt. This I got for like $10 at... Um, the cotton on. The cotton on? Cotton on. That, I kind of wanted to have like a cute matching set for Christmas. I mean, not Christmas Day, because we're not going anywhere, but whenever we have like a Christmas event. So one of these beauty sponges, because she always runs off with mine, or wants it. So, yeah, hopefully that and the beauty toys the makeup brushes will keep her suffice. Lip balm because she she loves lip balm. She'll sit there and these are blue, I think. Okay, if the quality is shocking, that's because I'm filming. Oh my God, it's like so shaky. I'm filming on an iPad because my phone just died and I'm so close to being finished. I literally had these four things, five, I don't know, to go. So... You're going to have to put up with the seasickness situation going on. See? Motion? I oh, don't know. Anyway. I got her a Rapunzel doll. She's obsessed with Rapunzel. So that will keep her happy. I go for more like this wooden... Where is my hand on this thing? My nails look grubby, man. Um... Usually I would stick to the more wooden stuff, but I did buy this only 
for my sanity, okay? This kid, I cannot tell you, she is obsessed with my kitchen sink, okay? She stands up on her little stool and she wants to run, use it with the running water, okay? That's fine. I put it on like a teeny tiny little drip. No, she wants it like blasting out. And mama don't have the bank account for that. So, nor do I want to waste that much water. So I'm hoping if I give her this, um, it'll keep her busy. It's like her own, it's like her own cute little kitchen sink. Um, it wasn't that expensive either. It was like 20. If you haven't thrown up by now, congratulations. <sighs> All right. This is the last thing. That must have been the neighbours or something. But I'm determined just to finish this. Hold on. Maybe back there you'll see the whole thing. Okay, so this little, is it, <laughs> does that freak you out, jeez, um, this wooden number and block counting set I got from David Jones, I think on the back it said like $36 or something, and then I got 20% 20, 20 off, oh, excuse me, I saw my friend, I saw my friend's daughter have had one of these and I'll, I hadn't bought one up until now because the one from Kmart is really quite large and I didn't want that but look my little girl's learning to count in two languages and she bless her heart she can get to about three and that's it so I'm hoping we can do a little bit of number work here like we're learning it in Tagalog and English so I'm hoping maybe this can become like a morning ritual or something I mean she's also the second child so say what you will about that but that's it that's all of it